Hello my friends and welcome back to another video. This time we're gonna have my empties for the month of uh, May. A little bit late, but um, better later than never. I wanna film these videos because I'm, um, I don't wanna take the empties with me to the new house. So, um, thank you so much for stopping by. I, uh, I will try to go through them as uh, quickly as I can. Also, I want to mention that I have uh, more empties. Some of them, um, a lot of them are from my uh, project pen, which I didn't put in here because I didn't do the second update for my project pen and um, probably I'm not going to do that. I will have only the final at the end of the month and uh, we'll have another empty with that video. I'm trying to make them um, as short as I can. So let's see what I use uh, in May, what I finished in May only. Um, uh, products that uh, are not in the uh, in the project pen. So I will start with some declutter uh, with some items that I uh, declutter. I will have probably in the next month uh, even more because I'm going to my products and uh, I'm throwing some of them. The first one in here it's a hand cream and this one is from Soap and Glory Hand Food. I got two of them last year and. Um, one of them is perfectly fine, the second one, this one went bad and probably as you can see it's only a liquid in there and it smells awful. So I'm throwing this one uh, away, I don't know why it's uh, such a big difference between them because the other one that I got in this set, it's perfect, perfectly fine and I'm using it right now. But this one somehow went, uh, went bad. Another item that I declutter, it's a nail flip exfoliator and this one is in the pink grapefruit. It went bad, it smells awful. I love the brown sugar one from them, but somehow this one went uh, bad and I have the feeling that they don't last long. And also another item in here, it's a hand oil, it's a cuticle oil and this one is from N and something this natural um, revitalizing um, blend of oils i love those comes in this uh, packaging and has a brush which is very very easy to apply and uh, is that air free pump but unfortunately this one the roller doesn't work anymore so i have to throw this one away i know i have in a box a couple more uh, like this when I'll find them, I'll use them, but this one, uh, just the packaging uh, doesn't work. So, uh, it's a cuticle oil. Also, I don't know really some items that I found. Those are um, a bunch of nail products. And I have a couple nail, uh, nail polishes and some, uh, some glue in here that I'm throwing away. I have so much... Uh, I have so many nail products that uh, it's just crazy. A thing that I really enjoyed was the um, Tintera, Tintere, not so sure, Sumatra single origin. is the uh, coffee bags that I, um, I got in um, Fapit Fun in the last, um, not this edit, in the last one. I had two boxes like this and I finished the last one. Really enjoy it. If I will find them again, I will buy them again. Of course, Dr. Teal's in here always is the foaming bed with poor Epsom salt with uh, lavender. Lovely always in my uh, my bathroom. Also, I have two body scrubs. And those came in a box that Marie Cantelli sent me. And you saw those when I had the unboxing. One of them, the two of them are from Ton. One of them is the um, Exfoliated Nourish Bra Brazilian um, Brazilian Glam with Nut Oil and Maracuja, which is this one. It's literally a blue body scrub, which smells wonderful. And the second one is uh, Island Vibes with Pineapple and Plumeria. So this is a pink one, really nice to use. It smells uh, wonderful, medium as uh, exfoliation. But I love the two of them and they are very, you can find them I think at Walmart and they are very affordable. I have in here from um, Dr. Botanicals, it's a vegan product. This is Vanilla Chai and Amber Bed Balm. It was in this box. A scent was um, nothing special, but this was the worst bed balm that uh, I ever used. It was like... Uh, 
was so greasy actually it uh, and also stayed my uh, bed up it was so hard to clean that and to take away that greasiness and it was like a brown color Ugh, awful I do not recommend this one I was excited to try this one but no it wasn't good at all so I'm not gonna buy that one a nail block with uh, those uh, four uh, sides done with that one of course I finished the melatonin in uh, one of those boxes I'm um, taking them once in a while and I got this one I chose this one as a gift from a uh, birch box and I think I still have one or two then I have I'm gonna take the products random I have the Vita Fusion Woman's Supercharged Multi for Energizing Metabolism Bone. Those are the Gummy Vitamins. Came with uh, 220 and love them. Whatever uh, comes as a gummy for love them. I'm using the second one right now. Also as uh, home products, I have the Renuzit Simply Vanilla, which smells wonderful. I found them in the garage. Probably I'm not going to buy them because I have the wall flowers. And then a hand soap from Good Housekeeping in French Lavender. This was nice. What else I have in here? I have a shower gel. A shower oil actually from Rituals. This is the Ritual of uh, Sakura carrying shower oil. Which is a wonderful, wonderful product. I love this one so much. I will uh, buy this one again for sure. Although I have so many products, it's my favorite along with the um, L'Occitane one. So highly recommend this one. I will buy this one again. Also, I finished a foot scrub. This is the Freeman Barefoot Foot Scrub in the Peppermint and Plum. This is my favorite one. I always buy them from uh, online from um, Walmart. Affordable under three dollars and come um, comes with many different scents so highly recommend this one i will buy that one again a candle in here this is new organics london tranquility scent and candle sent to sleep i didn't feel like this one sent me to sleep but anyway i use it it came in a few unique box it was a deluxe sample it burned pretty well and the scent was nice and fresh in a lavender scent. I'm not gonna buy them. Anyway, I'm gonna no buy for candles, but I don't think it's something that I will uh, go and buy. I have the new face by Carol Cole, Prep and Glow, Cleans, Exfoliate and Hydrate. You saw those many times. This is a box of five. You saw those many times in my empties and you'll see them always because I love them. Is the cleansing wipes with uh, two side, sides. One is from, uh, for cleansing, the other one is for uh, exfoliating. Does a great job and makes a big difference uh, in my skin. So um, another candle in here, which I love, love, love. This one, um, I got this one still from Marie Cantelli in that uh, box. And this one is um, white barn, white tea and sage. Burns perfectly. Really, really, really nice ascent too. So I love this one. I, uh, I am considering buying that one again. Also, two more hand soaps. One is the air foam juicy grapefruit. I had another one like this in my last empties last month and it didn't last me more than a week so I'm not gonna buy them again. Something that I will always buy is the Bath and Body Works. This time is the Water Lily and Lilac um, scent. Lovely, lovely. Not as strong as other hand soaps from them but still really nice and pleasant. So I love it. I will buy them again. Also, I have in here two old flowers and probably I have more but I don't have them here. One of them is the Vanilla Bean Noel and the other one I don't have the label but was the um, Chris Morning Gear or something like that. I don't remember ever the name but anyway this one is my favorite. Oops. Okay. 
also I had some um, tablets. This is the Crabtree and Evelyn La Source bed tablets. Came with 10 of them. They had a the blue color and the, the scent was uh, okay, not very strong, but the, the color, the blue teal, teal color was beautiful. Change your water in such a pleasant way. So if I find them, I will buy them again. Then I have in here what else I have from Poor Smile, Poor Smile. It's a Korean brand. I have the skin toner with collagen, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin E. It was okay. It came in a, in a beauty box. Not something that I would buy again. Also sweet and nutty. This is wild from Wild Garden. Is the body mist. This one came in um, in a glossy box um, subscription was pretty nice at scent, it didn't last uh, long, I use it at night, I'm using sometimes at night for my bed, for my room, those body sprays, was okay, but I'm not gonna buy it again, also I have to, I have a, a bunch of minis, I finished also a cuticle oil from China Glaze, this one, was the orange one it takes forever for me to finish one of these i usually use them at night before bed but lately i didn't use anything also in here i have the aurelia probiotic skincare revitalize and brighten eye do serum i got this in a, in an advent calendar i love the scent of this one although the scent is very light it's wonderful. Came with a metallic roller ball, which I removed because I didn't like it. But the product was really nice. It's sixty-three dollars. Two <clears throat> Lancome products. Lancome Bifacial for face is the um, eye makeup remover. No, I'm wrong. This is the. And I know I have this the other one also. Okay, we well, when I'll find them, I will tell you about those. I have in here another um, wallflower. This is the cactus blossom. What else I have in here? Let me just take them out. I have the Votivo Desert Cactus. It's a deluxe sample candle. Smells wonderful, wonderful. Came in... Um, in a beach box, limited edition box, and I love them. I am considering buying them again. Lovely, lovely scent. What else I have in here? I have a mask from Kodali, and this one is Instant Detox Mask. A beautiful product, really, really nice. I feel, felt like this one had um, made um, actually a deep cleaning to, to my face and leave skin so soft and nice like baby face. So I enjoyed this one. I have the full size and samples, but when I'll finish them, for sure I will buy this one again. From Kodali, a brush that um, it doesn't work anymore from me else, but I really enjoy using this one. It was the concealer brush, really, really nice. It did a great job. Those are so cheap. Another eye serum is the Verso Super Eye Serum with Retinol B. Another one that I'm considering buying it. It's a great eye serum and worked very well for me for um, hydrating my under eye. And also it didn't burn my eyes as uh, most of the products does. So enjoy using this one. Also, I have a Georgette Cleanser Coconut Facial Mist. It's my favorite from the line right now. Love, love, love this one. I'm using the lavender one, which I like, but I don't love it as much as I love this one. I will buy this one again. And I talked before about this one many times. Also, Not a Stranger Dr. Teal's Poor Epsom Salt. Coconut oil to nourish and protect skin. Love, love, love the scent of this one. Smells so nice. I will buy that one for sure again. Also, I finished. Uh, no, this is a declutter, another declutter lip exfoliator from ELF. And this is the rose one. Went bad. 
saying goodbye to that one. Also, I had uh, some masks from Huxley of Sahara, Secret of Sahara. I didn't like them as much as I expected to. So I'm not gonna buy them. A sample from Nura, the deluxe sample with the eye lift firming treatment. I talked about this one in uh, samples of the week. Lovely, lovely product. I got the full size and I found it uh, when I was packing, but uh, now it's lost in the boxes again. But anyway, a great, great product for your eyes. A product that really makes a change, a nice change. Also, I have a face oil that I love, love, love. I really enjoy this one. It's the Uma Absolute Anti-Aging Face Oil. This came as a free item in a cold beauty bag. It's 175 the full size, so I'm not gonna buy this one, but I really enjoy it. It's a, such a nice uh, face oil. Also, I still have a couple more products. I finished this uh, Cool Fix, the Cool Fix. Um, gel lotion after shaving it's a nice product but for me it's not something that i really need right now which i'm not gonna buy it if i will need it i will but not right now then i use the cool um, spf 30 classic sunscreen in cucumber i like it but i didn't love it i used another one that i really enjoyed and i think was better the spf 30 cool um, mineral sunscreen on uh, scented this one I used two of them, but I like more this one. This one was okay, but it still make, um, made some um, bubbles, uh, balls on my, uh, my face. It didn't work with any cream that I used, but this one was really nice. So I love this one. I am considering buying this one, the mineral sunscreen. Then I have two deluxe sample um, cleanser, face cleanser. This is La Roche, La Roche Posay, totally rain purifying and foaming cleanser. Nice, really nice, the two of them. Gel cleansers, very gentle, works so wonderful, I do recommend them. Also, I have an Ulta Beauty Dewy, Dewy makeup setting spray. I usually use them to wet my beauty blenders. Then I finished the serum. This is the HO2 Infinity Renewing Youth Serum. Didn't like this one. I have um, Schmidt's Charcoal and Magnesium Mineral Enriched Natural Deodorant. Was okay, not my favorite. And I have a bunch of them from um, Beauty Boxes. Sephora Eye Makeup Remover, the Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. I like it, but I don't love it. I love the Bifacil from Lancome more. As you can see, this probably you cannot, but if you would, the Sephora one is more oily than the Lancome one. Those are okay, are gentle, it didn't bother my eyes, but I'm not gonna buy the full size. From Lancome, I have already a bunch of um, full sizes and samples from the Bifacil eye makeup remover. I had the sample here and also I got from Marie in that uh, box that I received from her the Bifacil for uh, face, the, uh, I, the makeup remover for face, this one is for eyes, they work wonderful, I love them and also from Lancome I have the toner, the Tony Comfort which is another beautiful toner so I have all the three of them and I will always buy them. I have a MAC, this is the cleansing oil, really like this one, I'm not buying because I have a ton of products, what else I have in here, some natural soaps that uh, my guys are using, a bunch of perfume samples, not as many as uh, I usually use, but a bunch of them, from Pacifica, the Yves Saint Laurent Montpari, of course, my favorite was um, the black opium from uh, those that I used uh, this month. I'm not going to show you all of them because it's going to take too long. But enjoy those samples. Also, I have some other samples in here. And I'm going to go through them as quickly as I can. 
Instagram, Kodali, you know, perfect essence. I love, but I don't like the formula, it's too watery, but I love the product and how it works. Also, I have um, from uh, Pyongyul, this is the buttercream. It's the single product from the brand that I don't love. I don't like it. I use them. You can use them for uh, face and body. I use them for my feet because I don't like the formula. And I love their skincare products, the face products, but this one wasn't my uh, my um, my gem. Then I have the Pharmacy Rings and Shine Moisturizer, the Clinique Facial, Mind Facial Soap, a mask from uh, Asla Vital. It's the clay mask, which was really, really nice. Star Skin Eye Mask. Dr. Dennis Gross, the Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peeling, the Facial Radiance Pads, and the cleanser from uh, 8 Cosmetics, which was uh, was nice. So, um, then I have a couple more items that I'm not going to show you. Some wipes that um, I like, the Pacifica Underarm uh, Deodorant Wipes, those are uh, working nice. The Neutrogena Makeup Remover Night Calming, my favorite wipes for face right now, they look wonderful. Also, Ulta um, On The Go Cleansing Makeup Remover, don't like them. They are burning my face, I use them for swatches, and the Honest one, which I don't like either. Also, I have a, fa uh, a bunch of face masks, this is the... Um, I, uh, I don't have the name because it was on the top, anyway, it was the Real Essentials Sheet Mask Pink, uh, Pink Collagen, actually, was uh, was okay, but has uh, such a weird shape, anyway, I had it, uh, a mask that is um, really wonderful, this is the Skin Food Royal Honey Mask, always, when I'm checking for this one, it's sold out, if you can get this one, if you can find this one, buy it because it's uh, a, such a nice mask. The purifying brightening from So A, the peeling gel mask. Also the honeybee mask, which was uh, very nice also and had a nice scent. Was the brand W Lab, really nice. The Polatum brightening. Oak Tree Essence Mask, really, really nice. I uh, I do recommend this one. If I will find it, I will buy this one again. The Crazy Monkey, this is the Monkey Snail Quick Mask, which is this one, was okay. From uh, Skin Clinic, um, Skin Leader Cosmetics Effect Plus, this is the SLC Mask, was uh, okay. From Puka, not so sure if it's the name, I have three of them, the Light um, Max um, Mask, the Collagen Mask and the Aqua Mask, those were okay. I have also the Jeju Volcanic Island, one is Green Tea Flower and the other one is Camellia, those two. I have all of them from Beauty Boxes and um, from um, Korean... Um, mask uh, when I had the um, subscription masks this one is uh, appeal moisturizing three step I don't like the the three step I think it's uh, too much then I have the two so long not so sure about the name poor aloe mask which was uh, was nice the black mask also I have the hyaluronic acid treatment mask somewhere I have one more because I used two of them and uh, I enjoy them and they fit very well. The Garnier Skin Natural Moisture and Relaxing and Dr. Jart Cleaning um, Solo Clearing Solution. So love those, really, really nice. Most of them were, um, were nice. I have probably um, four or five of them that uh, I would like to buy again. Not so sure if I will, but anyway, I will put them on my list. And uh, I think that's kind of uh, kind of all. I have also some eye mask and some random products. This was um, a bad salt, did nothing. The Bear Burst Be Moisturizing Lip, ma lip Mask, 
was okay. Wonder Beauty, I have two of them. The um, baggage claim gold eye mask, nice. Same thing with the pathology and rejuvenating eye gels. This is a Sephora moisturizing and refreshing body jelly, really nice. A hand mask from uh, Body Pour was okay. And two foot mask, one from Sephora is the almond one and the tree tree. The tea tree oil moisturizing from um, Earth Therapeutics. So uh, that's kind of all I think. I have a couple small um, hair products in here and that's all. That's all for my empties for May. Probably my June empties are going to be, my basket is going to be very empty. <laughs> because I didn't use, um, I didn't use any product. I didn't finish any product yet and it's, um, almost uh, the middle of the June anyway if I will have some products I will have another empties but I will have an empty when uh, an empty video when I will um, do the final update for my project pen because I have there um, probably over 20 products so that's kind of all for um, May um, empties thank you so much for coming guys thank you so much for stopping by and spending your time with me if you have uh, a video with um, your empties, I would love to watch that. So that's all for uh, for my uh, empties, for my uh, May empties. I will see you guys with uh, another video soon. Can't wait to hear from you in the comments down below. Thank you so much again. See you soon. Bye-bye.